All right, so we got the Salamanders, the perfect Space Marine Warhammer 40k lore. Let's get to videos, good man. The best of uh, faction. Hi, friends. Wait, friends. Um, in the game. Coincidence, I should mention friends because today we're talking about the Salamanders. The Salamanders are my favorite Space Marine chapter. Me too. They have everything I like. Mine it's no too. No secret that I like green, and no matter how dumb this might seem, I I actually like the nicer characters in 40k. So Me too. Salamanders really hit the spot. They're green, not too mean, and they love flamethrowers. So yeah, let's just nice. jump right into it just like a salamander would. The salamanders <sighs> were the 18th legion of the first founding. Before being reunited with their Primarch Vulcan, the salamanders were known as the Dragon Warriors. And they were masters of the ancient art of Kung Fu. Oh. That last part was a joke, but yeah, honestly, obviously. Kung Fu Marines would actually be pretty funny. That but would be yes, cool. They were the Dragon Warriors. They wouldn't last, even though. from the start, they had a penchant for sacrifice to themselves in order to protect mankind. When the Dragon Warriors finally met their daddy Vulcan, he commended their selflessness in protecting the Imperial citizens against a massive Orc Horde. Nice. Vulcan even knelt to his legion in respect of their heroics in the face of doom. The legion was renamed after the giant salamanders of Vulcan's home world of Nocturne. During the heresy, the Salamanders completed a number of seemingly impossible missions, often taking huge casualties in the process. Dang. They prioritized protecting humanity above all else, sometimes at the cost of efficiency and often at the cost of their lives. Oh, they preferred man. last stands over lasting long. That, that sounded weird. I meant lasting long as in living. But regardless, oh, this I just clock what he just said. Meant that the Salamander Legion was one of the smallest legions of the Heresy since they often took heavy losses in their campaign. Dang. Most notably in their first ever mission, in the Unification Wars, the Isfan Drop Site Massacre, and of course in the aforementioned battle where they first met Vulcan. After the Heresy since Salamanders got Salamander destroyed so hard, they weren't able to make many successor chapters. In fact, it was widely believed that the Salamanders didn't have any successor chapters at all until the Ultima founding and the introduction of everybody's favorite Marines, the Primaris. Although they've long been said to have no successor chapters prior to the Ultima founding, it has long been rumored and recently confirmed that there were in fact some successor chapters for the Salamanders. But let's be honest, was it really a question that something like the Black Dragons was a successor chapter to the Salamanders? They used similar tactics and they're dragon themed. Like last I checked, something like the Space Wolves weren't dragon themed. True. They're getting over hated themed. Also, black skin, black armor, coincidence? I think not. But after the Ultimate Founding, they did get some new friends, such as the Dragon Spears, the Iron Drakes, and my personal favorite of the bunch, the Dark Krakens. And oh, we got friends? Enough, the Dark Krakens and the Dragon Spears are actually most notable for their aquatic operations. The Krakens okay. hailing from an ocean world where they fight giant sea monsters, and the Dragon Spears known for fighting alongside the Space Wolves in a Are they fighting the Loch Ness Monster? These two successor chapters show that the Administratum obviously doesn't play Pokemon. Is what you would say if you were a fool. True Pokemon masters know that the Salamanders will be fire dragon type, which means they'd be neutral to water. Is okay. what you would say if you were a fool, because real true Pokemon masters know that the Salamander Pokemon is the Charizard line, and they got stuck with fire flying for whatever reason. I mean, the and fire would still fire. be weak to water. So, plot twist, the original statement was right, and the Administratum probably hasn't played the ancient simulation of Pokemon. Also, nobody bring up Salamence. The Charmander line is much closer to the Salamence, so I will have none of that. True. Uh, uh, but yeah, back true. to 40k. Hearing about these cool green fellas might have you asking, well, how can I become a Salamander? Well, first off, you shouldn't want to become a Space Marine. It's literally torture and you're a freakish weirdo. True. But second off, being a Space Marine is actually pretty cool, so maybe you do want to become them because you got sick-ass armor and the nah. incredible strength. I'm good. I'll be a human. Of Almost all. I'll be human, bro. Yeah, I I want to be a space marine. Mm -mm, I'm good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Listen, shout out to the Salamanders. You know the best uh, faction, the best group. You know the best army, the best uh, whatever you want to call it in the entire game. But um, I I'd rather be a human, bro. Yeah, I can't be none. Mm -mm, I'm good. I can't be walking around with a whole deep freezer on my back. That's crazy. Your brothers and maybe your dad after your, your cousins brutally betray you and. And then you get to witness everything you've ever fought for rapidly crumbling before your eyes for the next 10,000 years. Oh, I read that wrong. I mean, you get the incredible strength to bonk your foes with a giant master crafted yeah. thunder hammer. There it is. For the Emperor, am that's I the right, right That's each, the right advertisement. Each Space Marine chapter has a slightly different initiate process and trials along with the standard Space Marine surgical operations. And the Salamander trial is actually quite cool as it's modeled on Vulcan's life and upbringing. First, they work as an apprentice for a salamander, learning smithing and other valuable life skills. Then, they're taking Prometheus to get the Astartes procedures done on them. 
After the operations, the new Space Marine Scouts performed the trials that the Emperor and Vulcan did when they first met. All of this culminates in them being sent to hunt a giant fire-breathing salamander for which the chapter was named. Once completed, the Scout can become a full-fledged Marine. Nice. In the current setting, the Salamanders are fulfilling their normal Space Marine duties of crusading and protecting humanity. Notably, they showed up at Hell's Reach, they were in the Badab War, and they participated in the Indominus Crusade. Along with that, the Salamanders are also on a mega scavenger hunt for the artifacts of Vulcan. These are nine epic artifacts forged by Vulcan himself and were scattered across the galaxy. It's said that once all nine artifacts are collected, the Vulcan will return to lead his chapter once more. But man, why, well, then, well, then why don't he help? Bro, this ain't, man, this ain't the Easter egg hunt. Like, bro, why, why don't you help out? Oh, no, nah, bro. He think this is hide and go seek. No, like, bro, what are we... Bro, what, what you think this is? Like, we, we're here to, like, see, like, bro, we're not here to find the lost treasure of Vulcan. Like, bro, like, what do we, huh? Let, all right, hold up, man. I, I think he's taking advantage of the salamanders, bro. Why don't you find, bro, why don't you be out in the field and help us find it, bro? We out here, bro, we out here bending our back, breaking our backs just to find our, just to find these weapons for you to use them? We can't use these weapons if we find them? That's crazy, bro. He got these things scattered across d different universes and, and, and different Earths and, and, and different suns and stuff like that, bro. What's wrong with you? Bro, this is not the Easter egg hunt, bro. This is, bro, this is diabolical work, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. If I came across with Vulcan, bro, I already asked for the, for the 30 seconds if you, if I'm being real with you. Clues to their whereabouts have been teased in the Tome of Fire. That's crazy. The salamanders gotta catch them all. Damn, that this is, is diabolical. Pokemon reference in this video. Um, instead of that, let's just say, much like Funko Pops, the salamanders need to collect every last one of them. And uh, that just made me think. The Salamanders have to collect a bunch of legendary weapons and artifacts in order to bring back a powerful leader and bring a whole new era to the faction. Call me a heretic, but that sounds a lot like the Eldar Crone Swords to me. Perhaps Eldar. We are not too different after all. Come here and give me a hug, elf man. Real shit? Nah, JK Elamil. <laughs> JK. Play, dumb bitch. Oh! Burn to a crisp. Burn to a crisp. Dragon iconography isn't just for show. These green marines are well known for their use of flamers, melts, and other fiery weapons. Their preferred tactic is to use heavy armor so they could get close to the enemy and flame throw them into the shadow. But they're good guys. They're good the guys. Salamanders I, I promise. and flame weapons make for a devastating combo in close quarters. And even though they're some of the nicer dudes in 40k, that's only if they like you. If not, well, they're some of the most ferocious marines out there. And they're supposed to be. And they're supposed to be. I don't mind that. So what? If, if, if they're ferocious and they're, and they're mean. They, they gots to be. They gots to be. They, they gotta turn into a beast. Listen, if, if you're not a human, listen. Oh, look at this. If you're not a human, this is what, this is what they look like. But to us, to humans, bro... Man, I, I, bro, I look at these guys as, as the goats. I look at these guys as our, as, as our, as our Marines, as our, as our saviors. You know, like, bro, they're really big and powerful, bro. Bro, nobody's messing with Earth for, 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 for millennia, bro. I, I promise you that. But I'm gonna be honest with you. If you, if you're not a human, you know, if you're like one of the aliens from GTA 5, I can't lie to you, bro. You're in for a rude awakening. I can't lie. Their Primarch Vulcan was said to have fury that surpasses even Lehman Russ, a true dragon on the battlefield, if you will. Outside of combat, the Salamanders are expert blacksmiths. They create and maintain all of their gear. Oh, snap. Of oh, they do Minecraft? Works of art. That's nice. They also have large forge ships that manufacture weapons for the Salamanders on the go. How okay. convenient. Another cool thing about the Salamanders is that, unlike most chapters, the Salamanders' fortress monastery is on the moon of their home planet and is only really supposed to house the first company. The rest of the Salamanders live on Nocturne when they're not at war. This means that they actually hang out with the people of Nocturne and they could keep in touch with their families when not crusading. Oh, Along nice, with their man. culture, salamanders also have some interesting abilities and quirks from their okay. unique gene scene. The most see. obvious and iconic one is the jet black skin and glowing red eyes. This unique appearance results from a flaw in their otherwise stable gene seed. Their gene seed results in a defect with the Space Marine's melanochrome organ. This organ usually allows Space Marines to alter their melanin content on the fly in order to respond to various UV levels accordingly. Oh, really? However, due to the defective melanochrome organ, when a salamander goes to their home planet of Nocturne, the organ goes into super crazy overdrive mode, and their skin turns permanently coal black, and their eyes are burning. Dang, so they, they, so they, so they were... They're really a brother out here. Okay, hey, I like that. I like that. Like I said before, you know, if you got a salamander in your class, you know, and the teacher turns you to, and the teacher turns, and the teacher's like, hey, can somebody turn the light off? 
<laughs> and you turn the light off, and you turn around, and you look at Jeremy, and Jeremy got these bright red eyes. Don't say nothing. Don't say, man, you'll get burnt to a crisp, so even though you're a human. If you talk about Jimmy, you'll get burnt to a crypt. Burnt to a crypt, I promise you. These mutations make Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. The hulking giants stomp the battlefield with eyes burning through the fogs of war. Scaring some opponents in submission even before the battle begins. Where is Jimmy? Speaking of eyes, salamanders also have infrared vision just like the predator. This is called the fire sight and is obviously a useful ability as it would grant improved visibility in certain scenarios. One thing the salamanders use this for is to put cool designs in their armor that admits heat that only the salamanders can really see. Another more practical application is seeing through smoke, kind of like the thing that fire tends oh, to make. Oh, snap, okay. And fire being the thing that salamanders tend to make. Oh, hey, that's a kick-ass combo if you ask me. It should be noted that, theoretically, the IR vision would be worse with thick black smoke that oil fires would typically make. But also, flamers are said to burn super-duper hot, so technically they shouldn't really produce smoke until the fire itself is dying out. But also, I just spent like an hour reading about smoke physics and never really got a clear answer. So I'm kind of losing my mind. So let's just say that the 40k rule of cool makes whatever we need to work work and uh, we don't think too hard about it. So with that in mind, let's just imagine for a second how scary it would be for these giants to stomp into the battlefield, spew fire everywhere, burning everything around them. You can't see anything through the smoke other than their piercing red eyes closing in on you, crushing anything in their way. Yeah, salamanders are the best. Sucks to be a heretic, you yeah. scumbag. Yeah. One of the perks of being a salamander is that they're physically bigger than the average marine, they have high tolerances to extreme heat and radiation, and they have an above average regeneration ability. Oh, we're really and like I that. If that regeneration thing was written because in real life salamanders can regenerate parts of themselves, or if it was just a generic durability thing. But the salamander Yo. gene seed isn't all sun flares and flamers. There are a few flaws in it. Along with the aforementioned defective melanochrome organ, salamanders also apparently have slower reflex times. Nothing super noticeable, and they're still super humanly fast, but it is notably slower than other Astartes. All right. Another weakness okay. you could say if you're a dickhead, cough, perturabo, cough, curs, cough, almost every 40k character, is that the Salamanders have an affinity for a strange concept known as basic empathy, and they try to defend mankind at any cost. It's Aww. hinted at, but it's still unclear if this strange quirk is connected to their gene seed or not. But that final point is why I believe the Salamanders to be the perfect Marine. I have Facts. always subscribed to the perspective that the Emperor valued humanity above all else Facts. and the insane length. Because he was the guy. He was the guy that was protecting humanity and stuff like that. You, he was, see, see, I see, see, I see why whenever, listen, how, how much, I mean, obviously, like, you know, uh, last time I checked, I think he's like a skeleton right now and he's getting pumped with like a thousand souls a day. But listen. I promise you, if he was still alive and he was talking stuff like that, bro, I promise you, bro, he would be, bro, he would be so proud of the Salamanders, bro, because, hey, bro, listen, they're like the, they're like the, uh, they're like the top of the top, you know, just, just, you know, uh, faction out there. They're like the top of the top group out there. And to be honest with you, like, just showing on, like, how nice they are. First of all, they got a heart, you know. All these other people, I mean, besides the Space Marines, my bad, sorry, the Indianapolis Colts, besides them. Bro, like, everybody else is just evil Knievel. Like, it's crazy. So, if I'm being honest with you, bro, the Emperor would be really proud of, of the Salamanders. See, Wensu, we're always in the interest of protecting humanity and guiding them to prosperity. Yeah. Even though he was very flawed and made some seemingly nonsensical decisions to further his goals, the Emperor saw humanity as number one. He's literally me. Even something as innocuous as the Imperium skull motif furthers this idea. The human form in itself is beautiful and pure, even in its decayed state. Yeah. The Emperor created his transhumans in order to lead humanity to the rightful dominion of the galaxy. But they got corrupt. The Thunder Warriors, the Marines, the Custodes, and That's... even the Primarchs, actually, especially the Primarchs, were just tools, means to achieve his ultimate goal. So, with that in mind, the Salamanders fully embody the purpose of the Astartes. They are stalwart defenders of humanity to the umps degree. Murder face <sighs> McGee might be a more deadly soldier, but if he doesn't care if he kills every single human in order to quote unquote save a city, he's missing his true purpose. Bro, what city are you trying to save? You killed everybody. <laughs> save the city? From what? What are you trying to save? The buildings? Who's gonna operate in the buildings? Not humans. You killed them all. Goofy. And this is why, like, bro, I can't even take some of these facts in serious. They're like. Oh, well, I'm just going to uh, be here to save my world. But then you kill your own people that's in the world. 
And all of a sudden, when everybody's extinct and you're like, oh, my God, job well done. You look around and everybody is just discombobulated. You're like, hmm, like, what was the point of me doing this again? Like, you just did this for exercise. Like, you're a weirdo. Like, I'm like, all the other little factions, they're weirdos. I just got to be honest with you. Salamanders, on the other hand. Salamanders can never. Look at this. Look at him. This man is fault. defending in that mission, baby with knives. Humanity, nor do they he took all the wounds. Much like how Vulcan respects his sons and views himself as a protector and teacher rather than a superior, the Salamanders respect base humankind. And I better not see the stupid argument that this means the Salamanders aren't grim, dark, and Bats. the setting is dead. Bats. The Salamanders are literally dark because of their gene seed flaw. Bats. Pay attention. They black. Uh, but joking aside, the Salamanders <laughs> might care about humanity, but they're still ultra-violent and murderous to anything Bats. that may threaten humanity. Having characters do heroic things doesn't mean that they're morally pure, nor does it mean that the setting as a whole isn't grim, dark. There needs to be light to accentuate the darkness, so having a faction like the Salamanders perform noble actions while constantly taking heavy losses to hopelessly protect a doomed empire is a whole lot darker to me than asshole murder acts, angrily killing Facts. jerk face ass hammer, Facts. and then stomping a baby. Facts. If every single character wait, 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 is an what, angry what? jerk, then that isn't a grim wait, what? It just means that the norm for the setting is that everybody's a jerk. Facts. But yeah, that's the Salamanders. I love these dudes, and they hit all of my check marks for the best space brain. Me chapter. too, bro. I love characters and fictions that constantly get their ass kicked, but they stay determined and they stick to their values no matter what. Yeah. Also, dragons are badass. What can I say? They're all right. They so, breath stink. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I look forward to doing. Some well, man. Hey, bro, I like this guy, bro. Bro, he, bro, he really put on, you know, for the Salamanders, you know, and I'm here to put on for the Salamanders too, you know, as a, as a, as a. Uh, as a Warhammer 40k new booty, uh, as a as a new member uh, of the Salamanders, I just want to sit here and say, sorry, as a president of the Salamanders, I just want to sit here and say, um, I, this is the best group uh, in all the factions and stuff like that. Um, I don't care who your group is. Oh my God, we killed a million people. Great. You want a cookie? <laughs> you want you want the cookies as as as, as big, fresh in the bakery? What you want? You want like you want some money or something? Like what you like? Oh, whoop did he do? Like oh. <laughs> Oh, I killed a million people. Oh, you know, I'm a, yo, I just got a 22 kill uh, kill streak. <laughs> like, what you want? Like, what do you want? Like, you want some type of like, what do you want some applause or something? Like, what? Like, I don't, like, I don't know what to give you. But like, people like this, bro. I'm, listen, th bro, these guys, bro, th bro, they're like the Superman uh, uh, of Warhammer. I'm just keeping it real. So, if I'm being honest with you, bro, um, Simon Man's is definitely, uh, literally the number one, the number one. Okay, I don't care about your little uh, Nightwing of uh, Space Marines. Space Marines, they're like number two. My bad, sorry, not the Space Marines. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts, they're like number two. Uh, but if I'm being honest with you, bro, the Silent Man is a definitely number one. Make sure you guys like the subscribe channel if you guys are new. And I will see you later for next time out. Other than that, man. Bye, y'all.